Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brains Applied. Today I'm doing a book review of Predictably Irrational, The Hidden Forces That Shape Our Decisions by Dan Ayerly. I had to read this book for one of my classes and it's a great book. Dan Ayerly is a psychology and behavioral economics professor at the Duke University and this book talks about uh, the different researches that he has done in the past. Now, if you've ever read a paper about psychology or economics, you know that in general they are pretty boring. They talk about inflation, they talk about deflation, but in general they're, they're pretty boring. But this book is really cool. Um, Dan Early basically explains what he researched, why he researched it, how he researched it. Uh, what the results were and what the implications are for us in our real life and basically his claim is that although we think that we are very rational and very thoughtful persons we are totally irrational um, and this is something bad because marketeers um, can basically abuse this um, these psychological phenomena to actually make more sales to make more money from as. And I'm just going to give you uh, one example. It's an example that you actually might already know a bit. You probably think, oh, it's so predictable. But still, it just goes further than that. And um, well, it actually just tells you how weird guys are. Because the, what he researched was how irrational male students are when they are sexually aroused. Now, you're probably thinking two things. Male students being irrational, what a surprise. Men not thinking after being sexually aroused, what a surprise. Who could have expected that? But it goes f much further than you would actually think. What he did was he had male students fill in a survey in which they had to rate different uh, activities. And they didn't have to say, do you like this, yes or no. They had to rate it on a scale from 0 to 100. And they had to do this in a cold natural state and when being aroused after watching their favorite online nature documentaries. And I'm going to read you some of the questions and some of the results that were given in the survey and I'm promising you, you're going to be surprised. Can you imagine being attracted to a 12 year old girl? The percentage of non-aroused was 23, when being aroused it was 46. A difference of a hundred percent. Can you imagine having sex with a 60 year old woman? This percentage went from 7 to 23. The last question that I'm going to tell you. Can you imagine getting sexually excited by contact with an animal? This went from 6 to 16 percent. Yeah, at, at this point the book became uh, pretty disturbing, but I promise you there were also regular questions in the survey. And for the more innocent souls, he also talks about how uh, being reminded of the Ten Commandments can prevent people from cheating on a test. So don't worry, this was the weirdest example that I got out of the book, especially for you guys. But this book is really cool. And what I like about this book is that it has 13 chapters and there are 13 different subjects about which he talks and this is great because um, an issue that I had for example with the subtle art of not giving a fuck it was a great book but it had one main idea for a book of 200 pages and after the first 100 pages I felt like I didn't have to read the second half of the book anymore because I could already predict what is in there but this book has 13 different subjects and this helps a lot additionally then Aerly has a open and uh, accessible and humorous writing style and this makes the book a great book. And if you love psychology um, or if you just like these little tiny psychological facts, I would highly recommend reading this book. At a certain point in this book, then Aerly talks about how irrational we are when we will get something for free. For example, we will order more products on Amazon just to get free shipping. And you, of course, as a highly irrational person, 
I would advise you to press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get a free, 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. This Friday or Saturday I will upload a video about why Eric Trump and Ted Cruz have a punchable face and why you might have a punchable face as well. Next week I will do a book review of Extreme Ownership, how US Navy SEALs lead and win and I'm going to talk about what makes someone funny, how to be funny and what humor is exactly. So press that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.